Hi everyone, long time no see. I know I'm sorry I haven't posted a video since my London Paris haul. Um, I've been really busy this summer. Like when I say really busy, I meant really busy. You kind of see maybe in the background over there. But I volunteered for the Pan Am and Pair Pan Am Games here in Toronto. And I was doing the, I was a ceremonies volunteer so I was actually in both the ceremonies. So if you guys saw me, I was on TV like for sure twice. Like on the opening for Pan Am and the opening of the Pair Pan Am, I know for sure. But I haven't watched the closing for the other two so I don't know if I was on TV. But I was on TV! Yay! But yeah, I was a path marshal so like... When the athletes like walked into their parade, I was one of the athletes in the orange shirts dancing along the side. So that's super exciting. So that was basically my whole summer, and now the all the both the Pan Am and Pair Pan Am games are over. So I'm really sad that it's over, but it's still here. So I just want to give a shout out to my friend Sarah and her friend Stephanie. Hey, hello, Sarah and Stephanie. Um, Sarah was one of the volunteers I met in um. That I met while I was doing the uh, Pan Am Games, and Stephanie is one of her friends. They're from the same city, so hi Stephanie, because I know she's subscribed to my channel, so I just want to say hi. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to do a products I've used up video, because the bag that I usually use to hold all the products I've used up is full. So today's the perfect time to tell you guys what I finished up, and also reviews on each one. Just a quick review, not like an in-depth review. But um, yeah, let's go. Sorry if there's like, something stuck in my teeth. I had like an omelette earlier. But anyways, okay, I sorted out into different categories, so I have um, skincare, makeup, lips, and hair, um, so that kind of sort of thing. So let's go with the first one. This one is my Dove Go Sleeveless Deodorant in the Smell Beauty Finish. But um, yeah, I got this in, um, clearly I used it up. This is just a, whoa! This is just like a sample size. I believe they don't sell these. No, they do. I think this is like a travel size, but I got this in my order on Beyond the Rock when they partner, partnered with Procter & Gamble to offer, um, Procter & Gamble or Unilever, I don't know, whatever. Um, they partnered with them to give samples or something in your order, so when I ordered off Beyond the Rock, they gave me small deodorants, which is perfect because I put them in my, um, not my gym bag, but I started um, top rope climbing, so this was in my bag and I finished it. Next is skincare. So these are just my face lotions, so, okay, I had this for a while ago, I should have thrown this out like a long time ago, but it's from Consonant Skin Care, it's the ultra moisturizing organic face cream for dry skin, and this is like a small bottle, this is like literally travel size, so this is perfect, I liked it, but probably would not repurchase, because it has like, um, because since it's organic, it has like a weird like, like, it, it smelled too medicine for me. Like, it smelled too medical grade for me, and I just did not like it. It moisturized my skin. It did its job, but, like, it's just, like, bleh, I don't know. Um, next product is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I've used this before, like, a long time ago. Like, when I first started, like, really getting into my skincare, I started using this product. This is just the travel size, but I used to buy, like, the rectangular bottle of this, like, lotion, but I stopped using it. Um, I'm using it again because I just want to use up all my, like, travel size, not travel size, but, like, sample size products, because I just, like, I have so much of them, I just need to get rid of it, and plus, it's not my favorite anymore. I prefer, um, my Paula's Choice, I forget what it was, but Paula's Choice for anti-aging, it has SPF, like, 35 or 25 in it, but that's, like, my favorite now, but I just want to use all these up. But, yeah, finish these two. Next is my toners. Speaking of Polish Choice, I finished both these Polish Choice toners. This one's the Moisture Boost uh, Essential Hydrating Toner for Normal to Dry Skin with Antioxidants. And this one's a Skin Recovery Enriched Calming Toner for Normal, Dry, Very Dry. So this one's a clear liquid. This one's more like a milky liquid. But both work really well interchangeably. I feel like this one's more for summer and this one's more for fall, winter. But this is the one I'm using right now for um, my fall, winter because like... It's still summer right now, but like, I just, this is just the one I'm currently using, but this is the one I just recently finished, but I'm back at this one now, because I love it so much. And I feel like it's really good for my really dry skin. And then next product is, okay, I ran, <laughs> is my Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Lotion with Salicylic Acid, and this is for all skin types. So, this is the original exfoliating, like, lotion that I bought from Paula's Choice, and I love it. And then I decided, oh, okay, I don't need a 2% anymore, I'll switch to the 1%. I switched to the 1% BHA lotion, I hate it. Like, I basically, it's still, like, completely full, but it doesn't work on my skin. It smells kind of weird because it has, like, a cucumber extract in it or whatever, and it does not work well on my skin. Like, it broke my skin out, like, it made it flaky or something, I don't even know. But I bought another bottle of this, so I'm back at it, so I'm back to having perfect skin again. 
But, um, yeah, I have the 1% version of this, so I need to, like, give it away or something because, like, it just doesn't work on my skin. Because that one's for normal skin, but this one's for all skin types. But I feel like this is best for me because I have dry skin. I don't know, just, this one works better. So the 2% BHA lotion for Paula's Choice is better for me as compared to the 1%. Because I've been using 2% for too long. I was like, oh, maybe we should just switch to 1%. Nope, do not do that, Jennifer. You're disaster on my skin. So, like, for, like, three weeks while I was waiting for my order to come in for this one... My skin was, like, on a whole nother level of, like, crazy, so, meh. Uh, next are, um, serums. Yeah, serums. So, uh, finish this Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. That's a long name, sorry. Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum for normal, dry to very dry skin with retinol. I love this. I bought another, um bottle of this because I love this serum so much that like all the other serums that I have is just not the same. I don't know. Why do I keep trying different things that just to just stick with Paul's Choice? It's just it's hard because Paul's Choice takes around two weeks to get to my house because it's coming from Seattle and um it's American they charge in American dollars and right now the Canadian dollar and American dollar are not friends with each other. Like I can't buy American stuff for like a decent rate. <laughs> it's like pretty expensive. So there's that. Next is a, okay, Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth, Youth Activating Concentrate. So it's a Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. So this is the new Genifique that they have for Lancome, like the most latest version. And the only thing I like about this is the mechanism. So when you open it, it already sucks up the serum for you. Like it's in like a dropper type of style. So it already sucks it up for you, which I love. And when you close it, it closes down. Like you can see, like here. I love that part, but like... The actual serum itself, I feel like it's not anything different than the actual other Genifique that they had, like the original one. So, like, I don't know. It's it's okay. It did its job, but I would not repurchase again. Like, I, nothing cool was just, like, the packaging. It was convenient because, like, it already took the pump of serum for you. You didn't have to, like, pump it up yourself. But I probably would not repurchase. I got this on a discounted rate, so it's fine. But, like, I don't you know. It wasn't amazing. And I feel like the Paul's Choice, it's che way cheaper and like it does the same job but even better. Um, next is a Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. This is another serum. I got this as a sample as you can see it's like literally so tiny. This smells so good. I remember using it. Hold on. Oh my god there's something about this scent. Like I just like love it and it's so perfect. It goes on your skin so beautifully. absorbs so fast. Like I love it and I want to buy it but like it's probably ridiculously expensive like the same as Lancome because Lancome and Shiseido are kind of like roughly around the same price. Like, I got this as a sample, and I love the smell of it. Oh my god. I just love the smell. As for the use of it, I don't know if it actually works or not. I don't know. There's eye care products. Um, so, this I just finished today, this morning. It's my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And this one's the Penguin Edition. The Penguin, Save the Penguins Edition. And, um, yeah, I finished it. I love it. Um, the first time I actually used this was back in May when I was in England to visit my brother, so in London. And that's when I, ah, that's when I first actually used this and I loved it. Um, I don't know if I've repurchased it again because I feel like it's, it's really thick. So you use a little, it goes a long way, but it doesn't absorb really well into my skin. Um, maybe that's just me, but I probably would not repurchase because it doesn't absorb as well as I want to and it's, like, super thick. So you gotta, like work it into your skin and like the more you work it the more you're like causing the wrinkles or like activating wrinkles in your eye areas like I don't know and this one was $35 for me because I see the price at the bottom but there's that next okay this one's so cool I will not buy the full size but it's so expensive so if I had a gift card I would totally use it but this is a Lancome uh, Genifique Zia. It's a light pearl. It's an eye illuminating youth activating concentrate. But basically it's an eye serum. So kind of like eye cream eye serum. But it's so cool. So it's the gel. You can kind of see there's a little bit left over still. But anyways, you can see like the wand here. Look, it moves back and forth. So basically you run it along your eye area here. Like let me just pretend it's my eye area. But you like run it along like the eye area here. And it, this, is, like, a, this is like metal. So it's like really cooling. Feels really nice. Absorbs so well in the skin. Sorry. Oh my god, my nose. It absorbs so well in your skin that, like, I'm just, like, so obsessed with it. And I want to buy the full size of this. But I can tell you, it's probably super expensive because eye creams, like, alone or eye serums or whatever are expensive. But again, it's the Lancome Genifique Zia. It's a light pearl eye illuminating youth activating concentrate. Eye illuminating, like, 
you think there's glitter. No, it's just supposed to like brighten up the eye area or like make your eyes look more awake, whatever. Um, next is some um, night creams. Not exact. yeah. Night creams, anti-aging creams. So these are both came in a set together. They're both the Biotherm Skin Vino line. But this is a Skin Vino Day and Skin Vino Night. So Skin Vino Day looks like this. I got this at the L'Oreal Warehouse Sale. Um, so this is what it looks like. Comes in a small container, 15 milliliters. But this one was nice. I liked it, but did oh, it smells good. I liked it, but didn't love it because it's such a small container. I like having day creams or something that would have like a way bigger bottle. And I feel like this is something that's like you'd put eye creams in here, you know what I mean? Like something really small. I liked it, probably would repurchase if it, I got it in a set, so I probably would repurchase if it was in a set. Um, next is a Biotherm Skin Vino Night, so this was a night cream, so this is like a, my nighttime, nighttime cream that I put as my last step in my skincare system, so this is dark, so the other one was like a, ugh. the other one was like a silver to represent day, and then the black one for night. But this is what it, um, I can't, I want to show you why it looks like it's empty, duh. Um, excuse me, whoa. Ah, I'm dropping everything! Yeah, this one was nice. I really liked it for nighttime. I felt it was really, um, moisturizing on my skin. Yeah, it smells good too. It smells the same thing as a day cream. But yeah, I would repurchase only a set. I wouldn't buy it individually because that's just crazy. And next, okay, I got this from my friend Wendy. Hi, Wendy, if you're watching. But this is, uh, she got this from me like a while ago, but I just finally, like I told you, I'm finally getting around to using things. Like, I just have them sitting in, like, my backups or, like, you know, skincare box, my eye, my lips box, my eye box, my face box. It's a lot. So this is the Laneige Snow Crystal Clear and Hydrated Skin with Snow Water Science. It's for all skin types. It's a water sleeping pack. Um, so basically, it's a night cream. So you just put it on your face. You can put it as a mask. Like, you can leave it on your skin at night and then wash it off, or you can just, like, leave it on at night as, like, a deep hydration thing. Um, I'm not sure how well it worked for me because I do have dry skin, and in the summer, like, right now, I, it's not as dry, but it's still, like, dry in some areas. So this was kind of like a gel type of formula as compared to an actual, like, lotion or cream because, for me, I feel more comfortable with the lotion or cream because, um... I feel it's more moisturizing the skin as compared to gels. I feel like gels are meant for people who have like oilier skin or like normal to oily. So I liked it but didn't love it. I finished it so yay! Woohoo! Go me! Um, last skincare. Oh my god, I have so much skincare stuff. Um, I had this for a long time now and I finally finished it. But I'm using it on my, I use this on my legs after I shave my legs. Uh, but this is the MAC Cosmetics Mineralized All Over Lotion. Um, I do not like the smell of this at all, but it's for face and body for complete moisture. Yeah, I don't like the smell of it. It's just, it's too, it's not medicine smelling, but it smells like, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't smell good, but I used it up. Yay! Whoa, MAC, MAC all over mineralized lotion thing. Uh, next is the Jergens Daily Moisture Skin Smoothing Moisturizer with Silk Proteins and Citrus Extracts with 24 hour hydration for noticeably, noticeably smoother skin. I believe I got this as a sample or like for free in like a, some gift bag or something. I can't remember what it was because I'd never buy this on my own usually. I never ever buy like Jergens like on its own ever. Maybe like a long, long time ago but not anymore. Um, yeah, used it, loved it. Has a nice like citrus smell. Um, kept the moisture on my legs. I like it. And last is, some, is a lotion that I keep in my purse at all times because... I have dry skin, as you guys know, and sometimes when I have flaky dry skin on my face, I put this on my face and it works so well. It's a La Roche-Posay um, Laboratory uh, Dermatologique. It's an, it's from their line Nutritic. Nutritic? It's a transforming, transforming care for very dry skin and it has 5% biolipids. I got this at the L'Oreal Warehouse sale for $17.50, but I literally finished every drop of it. But this is a lotion. Um, I loved it because it's... One, it's made in France. Anything made in France is amazing. But, um, yeah, I finished everything. But I love it because it's biolipids of 5%. I think what it does, it's kind of like, it's kind of like collagen or like fat kind of going back into your skin to kind of rehydrate it. I know it sounds gross, but I feel like that's what it is. And it's ultra fine cream and it's for very dry skin. Because the ones, the new ones I bought is just for dry skin, not very dry skin. I feel like this one worked better works better than the actual other one where it says dry skin as compared to very dry. But yeah, I totally would repurchase this again at the L'Oreal Warehouse sale. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm back up somewhere. I don't know. It's probably in my drawer. But there's that. Um, 
Next are lip products, lip moisturizing products. Okay, Vaseline Lip Therapy. I This one came with my box of Q-tips that I bought. It came with like a large box of Q-tips, a 500 pack, and then a 150 pack, and it came with this lip therapy or something. I can't remember what exactly what it was, but I love this. At first, I was really hesitant to put Vaseline on my lips, but this is like a slightly thinner formula for Vaseline as compared to the actual regular petroleum jelly Vaseline. But I love this. I put this on at night before I go to bed. Like, I have this on my bedside table. Like, you guys are on my bedside table right now. Um, and I love it. It's so good. And currently, I'm using... What is it? Here, this one's from England I bought. This is the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Lip Therapy. Um, that's aloe vera, like, scented or, like, whatever. I don't know why, but I do prefer this one over this one. I feel like this one's so thin compared... Like, the consistency of it is so thin compared to this one. This was a lot thicker, and this is a lot thinner, and more, like, easier to apply as compared to this. This one's thicker, but, like, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but this worked really well for me in London, but it doesn't work well for me here in Toronto, which does not make sense. But I guess there's more moisture there because there was more rain here. It's more, like, humidity, but I don't know. I do prefer this over this, which is weird because I bought... I When I went to London, I fell in love with it. I bought two of these, and I don't know. I just prefer this one more. Uh, next last lip product is my Principessa Bios... Principessa Biosemi Lip Balm. This one, I can't remember how I got this. Oh, no, no. It was part of like a Glim box or a Loose Button box or some type of beauty box that I stopped subscribing to because, you know, I felt it was useless. Um, this one, I believe you can buy this brand at Hudson's Bay. Don't quote me on it, but I feel like I've seen this at Hudson's Bay. But um, it's a clear lip balm. It's really hydrating. I put this on the beginning of my makeup and then I wipe it off at the end before I apply my lip product and I love it. No, the product. Lipstick or lip gloss, whatever. And I love it. It's so good. Okay, so um, now on to makeup. Okay, I have quite a, f not a lot. Mostly mascaras. Okay, let's get on with this one. Just get rid of this first. Okay, so, ah, oh, it's cold. It's cold. I'll put them on my lap. Okay. Mascaras. So I have four mascaras here to show you guys. This one's the first one. It's I keep the packaging of some of my used up products just so I can tell you guys if it worked or not. Um, this is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, and this is the waterproof edition. I love this butterfly mascara. I remember like when it first came out, people hated it, but I like love it because it's perfect for my Asian lashes. I feel like it catches them all. And just the way it flares out. I'll show you in the wand, but yeah, it is exact. It is waterproof, so just so you know. So I'll show you what it looks like for those who haven't seen the butterfly mascara. But basically, it's kind of, it's kind of clumpy now. Oops. So um, the wand has like one, two, three. It has five areas that has prongs, and then two of the prongs, it kind of tapers off, like, up like this, so it starts short and then gets long, and you can kind of get your lashes like this, you turn it around and get your lashes like this, because your lashes tend to get longer on the outside compared to, like, the inner ones, because, like, you know what I mean. Um, and it's perfect. I love it so much, and I would totally would repurchase this again. I believe I did repurchase it. I think I did. Um, next mascara is a their... Whoa. Next mascara is Benefit Their Real Mascara. I actually really like this product. At first, I was hesitant to try it because people, like a lot of people on YouTube, like they would rave about it. I wasn't sure if it was going to suit me because I have short Asian lashes, so I wasn't sure how it was going to work on me. So um, I got this as part of a set, I believe. I didn't pay for this one. I feel like, no, oh yeah, this is part of the birthday set. So it's a Their Real Mascara with a Benefit, like high beam, not high beam, but like a the highlighter thing that has a light bulb. I can't remember. WhatsApp. The WhatsApp, the WhatsApp, and then the coming with the They're Real. But yeah, um, this one's actually pretty nice. So it has basically, a, it's a rubber wand, all spikes all around. It has like a tip at the end, kind of like the Givenchy Phenomenize that has like, you know, whatever. And I love it. It's so good. Um, it's volumizing, more volumizing than lengthening. And um, yeah, it doesn't clump your lashes. And it smudges a little bit though. I don't like that part because... I have the issue of my ma my mascara smudging on my lower lash line here because my sh the way my eye is shaped. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, I don't know if I would purchase it though. I'd probably get it with a gift card. I wouldn't pay like $27 for mascara. I just like really loved it. This one, oh my god, I love this one. This is the Bare, Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials. Um, what is it? Bare Essentials? Yeah, Bare Essentials um, Buxom Mascara in the color Black is Black. 
I love this mascara. So I believe I got this as part of like a lash mascara set that my friend got me for my birthday like last year. Oh my god, you guys. Like this is one of my favorite mascaras like ever. So it looks almost exactly like the Benefit There Real, but it's so it's plus it's um I can't talk. It's all plastic bristles and it's kind of hard to see but like the way the wand is shaped, it kind of dips in like this, so it kind of like molds to your lashes like underneath. So if you put it there, it kind of like, your lashes kind of like dig into it sort of thing. It's kind of weird to explain, but like when you go to Sephora and just like open up the brush and you'll see what I mean. But it, it kind of tapers in, so it goes big like this, then tapers in, then big like that in the inside of it. But all the bristles are all the same length. Um, but yeah, I just love this mascara. It's just so beautiful. It's lengthening, volumizing, like it friggin' volumes your lashes. Um, it smudges just a little, but like once you start using more, it smudges less, and I just like obsessed with this mascara. <laughs> I love it so much. I totally would buy the full size of this if I had to, or like if I had the opportunity to, I would. So the Buxom Mascara, love. Last mascara is something that I don't sell anymore. I used to sell Avon like a while ago, but basically I only sold it to myself because I just want to try Avon products. I know, it's stupid. But um, this is the Avon Super Shock Mascara. I believe this is, is this a waterproof edition? I don't think so. Okay, but it's Avon Super Shock. I remember I loved a whole bunch of like Avon mascaras, and this was one of my favorites. But it's a huge, like huge tube. Like, like you can see it. It's like humongo compared to like my thumb. Like it's huge. Um, so open it, and it's kind of almost very similar to the other ones. But it's a rubber wand. It's super thick. Kind of reminds me of like the Lash Blast wand, like CoverGirl Lash Blast. Um, so it's all rubber bristles and they're all like the same length, but it's super volumizing and like length, not so much lengthening, more like volumizing, but it's so, so good. I love this mascara. Like it's huge, but like I f love it and does not smudge at all. Love that. Um, Garnier eye makeup remover. So, um, I f this is my last bottle that, bleh, this is my last bottle they used recently. It's a Garnier Fresh eye makeup remover. Like you guys know, why do I keep dropping things? This is like my favorite favorite like eye makeup remover of all time, but I think I switched to something that's like way better. So again, my friend Wendy, when we went to the L'Oreal Warehouse sale together, she gave me like a full huge extra value size of the, um, what's it called? Bioderma, that, that molecular water thing, and it has like a, um, at the top it has like a pink pump sort of thing, so you use it. I'm obsessed with that. It removes makeup so well. Oh my god, I feel like that's like my new... Like, I make a remover or just make a remover in general because, like, I've used this for years and it gets costly. And that one, the Bioderma, is so much better. Like, I was really hesitant to try the Bioderma at first, but then when I tried it, I was like, now I see why people love it. Like, it's like the bomb. Um, yeah, so Wendy has converted me. Like, I'm going to start buying the Bioderma now. And it's funny because I don't ever shop at shoppers unless I really have to shop at Shoppers Drug Mart because I do not like that place because they overcharge you like crazy. Um, but yeah, so I can start switching to Bioderma because this one is just not the same anymore. And plus they charge you more for less, which is stupid. Why would you do that, Garnier? Why? Uh, last skincare, or not skincare, makeup thing. Because this is a mix of like makeup and skincare depending on how you want to use it. But I use this for makeup. So it's my Caudalie Paris Eau de Beauté Beauty Elixir um, Smoothing Glow and Complexion for all skin types. It's... So, I spray this on my face after, so I put my, I'm a on, I put this, once I put all my face products on my face, I spray this on and then I do my eyeshadow. So I love this, it smells so good. I have the travel size version of this and right now I ran, since I ran out of this, um, I saved my travel size version of this for travel and then right now I'm using the L'Oreal, what's it called? Like turned it around. The Lori and Fibel, like makeup extending spray, so like the drugstore version of a makeup spray. So so far I like it, but I don't like I like how this is a finer mist and that was not as fine of a mist because I'm so used to this one that's such a fine mist that this one's like clumps of like droplets on your face, but I don't know, like we'll see how that goes. So far I haven't broken out, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, last is hair products slash in the shower. So um you guys seen this before, but it's my body shop. From the body shop, it's my whoa pink gr pink grapefruit body scrub jelly. So um, I use this when I know I need to shave my legs. So I put the scrub on first, and then I shave my legs. I have a electronic razor that I use like outside of the shower 
because I'm scared of razor blades and I don't shave my legs with like a regular razor blade that most girls do. Um, so yeah, love this thing. It's super moisturizing, makes your legs feel like baby skin after. Love it. And I repurchased it so many times that like it's like normal for me now. Um, next, I'll do like leave-in leave -in hair care products and then I'll do the shampoo and conditioner stuff. Okay, so this one, I got this in um, a Sephora 500 point perk thing. It was a caviar skincare, um, no, caviar, caviar, Alterna Caviar, um, hair care, like, 500 point box thing, but this is the Caviar Anti-Aging, um, uh, Replenishing Moisture Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So, I wouldn't spray this, like, straight on my hair, because it's, like, kind of like a pump. I don't know why they call it a spray, if it's not a spray, but it's, like, a pump. Anyways, I pumped this onto my hand, like, roughly around a loony size or a toony size, Rub it in my hands and then just put it on my towel dried hair and then just comb my head through and let it air dry. Um, I love this product. Um, it's I feel like this worked better on my hair in Chicago than it did like now because I feel like since it's so like the summer's here and it's this feels like kind of dry but still kind of soft. I don't know. It worked but not as what I thought it was gonna be because this product alone I can imagine like the full size of it is like super expensive and this is just like the travel size like the sample size. Yeah, so there's that. And this one, okay. My aunt from um, Texas, she actually recommended this to me. But it's the Paul Mitchell, the conditioner. It's a leave-in moisturizer for your hair. So I bought this at Target when it did exist in Canada. Like, so sad, right? Like, so sad. Um, bought this from Target, and I'm pretty sure you can get this Paul Mitchell at, like, at Trade Secrets. I'm pretty sure shoppers might have it too, I'm pretty sure. Um, but... I love it. So it's a blue color like this. You kind of see it. It's a blue type of jelly, uh, like gel type of feel. So I put like um, toony size up on my hand or loony size, rub it on my hands and put it on my towel dried hair, comb my hair through and then let it air dry. And I love it. So yeah, totally would repurchase this again. Right now I'm using my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product um, with keratin, plus keratin. So that's the one I'm using right now. I got it from Nordstrom. Nordstrom Rack last year when I went to Chicago. Um, so yeah, I'm using that one right now. The It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product for my leave-in conditioner. I always, I always, always put a leave-in conditioner on my towel-dried hair after I shower because like I feel like my hair needs extra conditioning since it's colored hair. I want to make sure it's not dry and not disgusting even though I have like split ends right now. Um, it still looks healthy even though it's not that healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so let's go with the last few bits of product. Okay, so these two, I can put this one last, but okay. So this is a Garnier Fruit Teas Fortifying Shampoo for Long and Strong. And the reason why, you guys know I usually don't buy shampoos that are like this tiny, but the reason why is because this shampoo here is super moisturizing as hell. That if you literally just put it on your hair, you have to wash your hair every day because it's, it's so moisture and your hair gets oily really fast. So this is a Matrix Biolage ultra hydrating shampoo and they weren't kidding when it says ultra hydrating it was so hydrating to the point where I had to like mix half of like another shampoo with half of this in my hand for it to like work properly not not work properly but like make it less like hydrating because this is no kidding ultra hydrating this is like literally ultra like to the max your hair you need to wash it like the next day or like literally hours later like it's so hydrating so I would put like um Okay, it depends on how long your hair is, but you put half and half of each, or like half and half of another shampoo, and then you mix it in your hair, and then you put it in your hair. Like, I love this shampoo, <laughs> but not buying it again because I had to keep using other shampoos in combination with it that was just so tedious in the shower. I'm like, I don't want to be mixing stuff in the shower. I'm not a scientist in the shower. But, um, yeah, um, so yeah, it's just, it's too ultra hydrating that I could not do it anymore. So that's why this thing lasted forever, like, legit forever. And I got this, I can't remember how long I bought this one, I'm like, oh my god, I'm finally finished. <laughs> Took forever. But yeah, love this to mix with this. I don't know how this is on its own because I never used it on its own, I just mixed it with this, so I can't tell you. But this is what I can tell you right now, you're going to have to mix it with other shampoos. Because unless you have super, 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 like your, like, your hair is like hay or straw, then sure, go ahead, use this. But on its own, like, the type of hair I have, do not, like, do not use it on its own. You're going to regret it because it's super moisturizing. And to go along with that was this um, Matrix Biolage Ultra Hydrating Balm. It's basically a c conditioner for your hair. 
Um, yeah, so it's just, it's a conditioner, but like in a tub type of format. So you just like scoop your hand in it, put it in the ends of your hair, wait a few minutes and then rinse it off. This one was not ultra hydrating compared to this. This is like freaking ultra hydrating as shit. But um, yeah, this one, I love it. Totally would have purchased, but I kind of wish there was different packaging because like I didn't like how yeah, I had to like dig my hand through it and just like put it in my hair because like some water got in here, but just like it was annoying to having to like dig your hand in like the product to like put on your hair. Um, but yeah, those are all my used up products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I finished a lot of product, like no, like no joke, it was a lot. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.